Hi guys, this is another commentary from Lanyo, and we're on Jungle Basin yet again. And today we've got Lovesick in the bottom right hand corner, who's a Korean Zerg, and we've got OG's the STC up in the top left as the Blue Terran. And this, as far as I know, is from Desoto's stream. So basically, he has a King of the Hill thing where I think players stay on when they win, and this is, a, I think, it's going to be a game from that. And I've I know I've seen Lovesick on the stream, and obviously you get quite a few AGS players on the stream as well. So we've got a Zerg against Terran on this map, which is Jungle Basin, and Jungle Basin's one of the features there is this open natural, which is down behind your base, down a ramp, and obviously you've just got the little ramp up to your main, and then you've got this back expansion without any destructible rocks, and then you've got some destructible rocks giving you some back access to the expansion. And at the moment, neither player is doing anything funny, they're both getting standard openings, and I think Lovesick did the extractor trick to get out an extra drone, and I presume he might be going for quite an economic heavy build, um, since you've got fairly easy to take natural, which can't really be attacked very easily by a Terran. And he sent a drone scout out, and at the moment we haven't had a scout from the STC, so he's just building his standard 12 racks, and I'd expect either probably about a 15 pool or 14 pool from Lovesick in that expansion. So he's just scanning that there's nothing funny going on from the SEC, so he'll probably feel fairly confident in sending a drone down, yup, like he is now, and going for that expansion. So that's going to get up. And one of the things about this map, which I've talked about in a previous game, which was a Terran vs. Paradox, is this little kind of cliff here, which you can exploit as a Terran. You can put down a tank, you can do kind of cute little drops there. So it'll be interesting to see if the STC decides to do anything with that or whether he goes because he's getting some gas at the moment for an early factory and some Hellions or he possibly might be going for some Reapers right now because he's getting that tech club up so we'll see if he starts producing a Reaper and yet we've got a Reaper coming out so we'll probably try and do some economic harassment. We've got a spawning pool now finally going down from Lovesick so he'll be able to get some Lings out hopefully in time for that Reaper but he's not going to have a Roachborn or anything so he's just going to have to try and use his Lings to deal with the Reaper and we're not seeing speed yet from the STC, so he's just sticking with one gas and just macroing up a bit, getting that Reaper out ready to do some harass. And we've got just the drone coming back from scouting, so we've got a SCV in the base, so he'll know that the pool's only just coming up and he'll know that there aren't going to be any roaches, so he'll probably send that Reaper straight away. Yep, and you see the Reaper coming out. And just check the production tab, the spawning pool's nearly finished, and I've got a couple of um, lava here, so he'll be able to get a few zerglings out straight away. Although with some decent micro, the Reaper should be able to deal with them. And now we've got the second hatchery up, so should see some lings coming out fairly soon, and I'll try and deal with this Reaper. And one drone's already gone down to this Reaper, and it looks like we're going to see a bunker on the second hatchery. And the Reaper is basically going to be able to exploit this cliff pretty easily against any lings that try and come and attack it. So I'll just be able to jump up and down. Although it looks like Love Six is going to position some lings near the top and some lings near the bottom. That he's pulled it away, and now the Reaper might just to run away. And get some hits out on those links and take down a couple of links, but he hasn't really managed to do much more than that at the moment, and the bunker's not managed to go up because he's killed the SCV that was building that, so it looks like this isn't going to be very successful. And we'll just see this Reapers, and we've got another Reaper out now, so we'll just see this couple of Reapers trying to deal some damage to these links, and the Roach one's nearly finished, so when those Roaches come out they'll be able to fairly easily deal with these Reapers without taking too much damage along with the Queen. And one of the changes for the patch is rumoured to be an extra rate extra range on the roach, so that'll make it even easier to deal with any kind of reaper pressure that Terrence decided to put on post the next patch, which might be coming at some point in the future, although nobody really knows when. So we've got the two hatcheries up, and we've got an expansion coming up now for the STC in his rear expansion, and I think just checking out those rocks to see if anything funny was going on there. So we've got some roaches out now for Lovesick, and just those couple of reapers, and now he's started producing marines, and he's getting down the second barracks, so we might see a three barracks push, and it doesn't look like he's going to transition into Hellions or anything. And he's getting a bunker on his main just so he can secure and start microing up himself with that second hatchery down in his expansion. And we've got extra gas going down, so we might see some mutalisks coming from Lovesick. And we've got a factory coming down now, so it looks like it's going to be two barracks in a factory, so possibly standard tank marine or oh, sorry, Tank Marauder Marine type push, or possibly might want to go for a Thor. So it's got a couple of gas up here, it doesn't have any gas down here though, because obviously Thors are pretty heavy on the gas. So it's still just pumping out some Marines, not getting any Marauders yet, and not getting any upgrades for those Marines like the Stim upgrade, and just killing that like it tries to come for a bit of a scout. So at the moment both players just macroing up, 
when he was going on, he's sending those reapers in to try and do a bit more damage. I think he might have got one drone there, but the queen was in a pretty nice position to be able to deal with them. And yet, we've got the hatchery being upgraded to lair, so we'll probably see a spire fairly soon. So it wouldn't surprise me to see. Oh, we got a starport. So it looks like he might, in fact, be going for kind of a bio push with some medvacs, and we've got an engineering bay coming out. So yeah, it looks like he's going to focus fairly heavily on the bio and possibly get some turrets up to try and defend against any middle list harass and such. And we'll see if this group of manages to take out any things. And yep, ten kills on that reaper, most of which is going to be Ling, so it's not really a huge problem. And we'll just check the income tab. And 27 against 28 harvesters, but obviously those mules are pushing the SDC quite far ahead in the mineral income. But still, Love 6 able to drone up without too much pressure being put on them at the moment. And we've got a Baning nest coming up. So obviously, he knows that he's got the couple of racks out over here. And he's seen quite a few Marines, so he'll know that it's going to be quite a Marine heavy army at the moment. So he's getting those Banings out to be able to deal with that. Meanwhile, we just got a bunker on the front. And now we've got a tech lab on the factory, so we'll see if he swaps that out or decides to get some tanks. So he's getting a medevac out at the moment, he might want to swap that over or use it for getting some marauders or something from these barracks. But at the moment, nothing too spectacular going on. Um, well, not completely used to all these hockey. So we've got Zergling Speed now being researched and it looks like he might be going for fairly heavy... Wait a minute, which is it? Yeah, so we've got um, Baneling Speed and we've got Rope Speed and we've got Zergling Speed, so he's making sure he gets all the speed upgrades on all of his various units. And apparently I've lost my connection to Battle.net, which hopefully shouldn't interrupt with this too much. Um, so now we've got another barracks going down and the factory is now getting a reactor, which will probably be used on one of those barracks to get some extra marines out. <coughs> so we've just got a lot of marines at the moment, a few Zerglings, a few Roaches and no tier 2 tech at the moment, no tier 2 tech buildings at the moment for Love 6. So he's just sticking and he's now going to try and take out these rocks with these couple of marauders, um, sorry, marauders, a couple of reapers which do quite a lot of damage to buildings. So still neither of them have died yet, so it's just on 10 kills and 1 kill. Not done anything since quite a while ago. So he's getting some spine crawlers now for a bit of extra defense in his base, and you can see because of the way that these expansions are outside. It's easy to get rear expansion. He, the Love 6 got kind of a bit of problem in deciding whether he wants to expand because there's nowhere really that he can safely expand to. So he's a bit stuck on two bases, which isn't a very good position to be in against a Terran. Because normally as Zerg you want to have at least one more base than any opposition really. But he's not really able to take any advantage because the map's really not very favourable. So he is going to try and take this middle expansion, which is kind of moving closer towards the STC's base going to be in a bit of a dangerous position if the STC does decide to put on any attack and it's going to be quite difficult if he wants to try and move any static defence up there like any spine crawlers from his main base. So we've got another kill now on this reaper which sounds like a, it was another zergling so now he's going to try and take that out or just sacrifice another zergling to see if it's there. So we've got some bailings out now so we should be able to put some pressure possibly on the front door which is not got any forces there at the moment because it looks like it's just dropping over here with some marines to try and take out this roach which is har harassing the rocks a bit. And at the moment we just got a tank out with no siege mode being researched at the moment so that's not going to be able to do too much in terms of the mass splash damage and at the moment the STC is just kind of bunkering down in his base getting another command center so he can take an expansion himself and go up into three bases and we just got pretty much marines and medevacs as the most of his forces against infestors and banelings so if Lovesick does decide to push out or if he manages to catch the STC in a bit of a bad position he might be able to do quite a lot of damage if he gets some decent fungal grits off and some banelings into those marines so we've got three tanks out now and finally such a research siege and at the moment let's check the upgrades we've got one attack upgrade to the marines no armor and we've got naught naught on all of the units over here of Lovesick and he's got a couple of infestors pretty high on energy they should be able to get off at least one fungal growth each and he's just got the two for the moment so and another one on the way and we've got siege tech upgrading, we've got infantry armor upgrading, we've got more marines and more tanks coming out, we've got some more roaches coming out so those roaches will be able to be quite good against tanking the damage of the tanks and it looks like the STC is going to take this forward expansion so he's expanding onto the same kind of little island bit in the middle here that we got as 
because obviously it's already expanded onto you and he can use these siege tanks to just kind of sit back here and defend that expansion pretty easily against any lings or anything and he'll probably be wanting to get a planetary fortress which is pretty effective at holding off too much zerg pressure and yep, you can see the planetary fortress is just starting to morph and now he's moving his forces out a bit so it's quite difficult for the S for Lovestick to try and put on any pressure with those siege tanks in the background just able to protect against any incoming zerg forces and he's got a little drop going off down here so he's going to try and attack this Back hatchery, take out some drones, do a bit of economic damage. But we've got some investors and some links, some roaches moving on now, so they should be able to deal with this kind of little marine force quite easily. And yep, we managed to load up most of those marines that have made a drop them away. And we've got a, these rocks almost taken down now for love sticks, so if the STC isn't too careful, we might be getting a little surprise from the rear. Could roll some bailings in and take down those drones at the back hatchery there. But at the moment, he's getting up his base over here. There's no golds on this map, so there's no kind of real advantage of taking any particular base over other because they're all standard mineral bases. So, even with the mules, the SDC isn't going to be able to pull as far away as he might be able to if there was a gold mineral there. And he's taking down all these rocks, so it looks like he's going to put on some fresh now, and he might be able to take out this.